Fifth generation wireless or 5G is the latest iteration of cellular technology, engineered to greatly increase the speed and responsiveness of wireless networks. With 5G, data transmitted over wireless broadband connections can travel at multi gigabit speeds, with potential peak speeds as high as 20 gigabits per second by some estimates. In this session, we will learn all about 5G, so without any further ado, let's begin. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Let's take a look at our agenda. Firstly, we will discuss a brief history of the, all the cellular networks that were present. Then we will learn about 5G, the key concepts involved, and how is 5G better, and even the onset of 6G. Now let's take a look at our first agenda. That is, a brief look into the history of cellular networks. Every 10 years or so, a new generation of wireless mobile technology arises that improves on the prior one. We will begin by understanding the various generations of wireless network connection. When talking about 1G, only voice calls were supported and it was released in the 1980s. Now, as cell phones transitioned from analog to digital in the 1990s, 2G was born. Now when it comes to 3G, it enabled video calling and mobile internet access in 1998. 4G, which was released in 2008, allows user to watch HDTV on their phones, participate in video conferences and as well as play games. Now let's move on to our next agenda, that is all about 5G. Now that we have understood what benefits the previous generations offered, we will now look into the benefits of 5G and how it has changed the entire network landscape. 5G went live in 2019. Some of the key benefits of 5G over and above the existing 4G features include improved data access speed, super fast and dependable communication, and machine to machine connection. Well, to put it in perspective, a machine to machine two way communication using 5G is 100 times quicker than 4G. But it's not just speed that 5G has to offer. Along with faster and dependable communication channels, the introduction of 5G has brought in a plethora of other benefits. Let's take a look at some of them. 5G offers ultra low latency, which basically signifies almost negligible delay in real time data transmission. 5G has almost about 1000 times greater bandwidth in information carrying capacity due to its expansion into new spectrum frequencies. Obviously, with such immense capabilities, the applications for 5G are countless. As a result, wireless internet is now available everywhere from smart devices to agriculture, healthcare, and even in defense and IT. The opportunities are countless and ever expanding. We now know what are the benefits of 5G and how it's helping shape the future of wireless network communication. Now let's move on to our next agenda. That is, key concepts of 5G. In order to better understand the functioning of 5G, we must first understand a few key concepts in the wireless network domain. Let us start with understanding each of them. First, we have OFDM. Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing, or OFDM, is a sort of digital transmission and a way of encoding digital data on multiple carrier frequencies that is used in telecommunications. OFDM is a widely used wideband digital communication technique with applications including digital television and audio broadcasting, DSL internet access, wireless networks, power line networks, and 4G or 5G mobile communications. Next key concept that we have here is air interface. 5G NR is a new air interface for 5G. The radio frequency part of the circuit between the mobile device and the active base station is known as an air interface. While the user is on the road, the active base station can change and each changeover is referred to as a handoff. Next up, just a quick info guys. If you want to make a career in cybersecurity, then Intellipat has a post-graduation certification in cybersecurity and ethical hacking by ENICT Academy, MNIT Jaipur. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by MNIT professors and industry experts. We have bandwidth. A feature known as bandwidth parts, that is BWP, is a novel notion in 5G new radio. BWP allows for greater flexibility in how resources are allocated within a carrier. 
The purpose of bandwidth paths is to provide flexibility so that numerous signal kinds can be delivered in a given bandwidth. The greater bandwidths available in 5G can be used by most base stations. Next, we'll talk about latency. The time it takes for a set of data to travel between two sites is known as network latency. Because of how short that length of time is, 5G technology differs from prior generations of cellular technology. 5G has a latency that is less than a blink of an eye. Users are able to send and download large volumes of data in near real time thanks to 5G. Lastly, let's talk about spectrum. The 5G spectrum includes radio frequencies below 6 GHz as well as millimeter wave bands of 24.25 GHz and higher. The radio frequencies that convey data from user equipment via cellular base stations to the data's terminus are referred to as the 5G spectrum. Since spectrum is what defines the huge difference between the capabilities of 4G and 5G, we should go ahead and understand 5G spectrum in much more detail. The spectrum is divided into three parts. We have low band, mid band and high band. Low band has a speed limit of 100 megabytes per second which allows it to penetrate walls as well. Next, we have mid-band. Mid-band spectrum speeds can exceed 1 billion data per second. It has lower latency than low band, but it cannot readily pass through structures. Next, we have high band, also known as millimeter wave. It has a very low latency and is extremely fast, reaching speeds of up to 10 Gbps. These high-frequency mm waves can also provide additional transmission space, hence allowing more devices to be linked at the same time. The disadvantage is that they are weaker and have a harder time penetrating solids. Well, 5G uses all three bands of the spectrum. Now using all these features, the 5G wireless communication has surpassed 4G in terms of efficiency and utility. Let's move on to our next agenda, which is understanding how is 5G better. 5G like 4G LTE, is based on OFDM and will follow the same mobile network concepts as 4G. The new 5G NR air interface, on the other hand, will improve OFDM much further, giving it far more flexibility and scalability. These features in 5G will not only provide faster and better mobile broadband services, but it will also expand into new service sectors such as mission critical communications and linking the huge internet of things. Many new 5G NR interface design strategies such as a new self-contained TDD subframe design makes this possible. Our last agenda here is the onset of 6G. As it's quite obvious, 5G has its own set of benefits and it has blatantly overpowered all other generations of cellular networks with its speed and low latency. While 5G is still in its early stages of commercialization as we speak, with only a few locations benefiting from its unrivaled advantages, academics have already taken a step further in their research into the upcoming wireless technology. While it is still in the development stage, it is referred to as 6G in order to maintain the tradition of prior networks and to keep things easy for the time being. Well, according to a wireless communications specialist, a 6G network can deliver 1 terabyte per second of data. To put it another way, streaming Netflix requires about 56 gigabits of data every hour to view the highest quality movie. And you can download 142 hours of Netflix top-notch quality video every second utilizing a 6G mobile network. This high-level data processing power has the potential to give new dimensions to the technology era with new applications and services that would totally revolutionize the lives and work processes of consumers and businesses who use it to get the most out of the 21st century technologies. That's it for this video. Thank you. Just a quick info guys. If you want to make a career in cybersecurity, then Intellipat has a post-graduation certification in cybersecurity and ethical hacking by ENICT Academy, MNIT Jaipur. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by MNIT professors and industry experts.